Well, okay, tell me, how did you spend your day, your weekend? Huh? How did you spend your weekend? Where did you go? What did you do? I don't go anywhere. I just at home and learn. Ah, really? You just started? It's just perfect. Yeah. Why not? Okay, so great. So you didn't so, go. Today I, today I, um, you what? I'm trying to say what? I don't know what it means. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> you don't know how to say <laughs> Okay, so I don't know actually what you want to say so that I can help you. Just you need to think about it and tell me what you want to say. Okay. <laughs> okay, so tell me about um, maybe tonight after class. Tell me, do you have any plans? What will you do after class? What are you going to do? I'm going to watch TV. Okay, you're going to watch TV. Let me write that on the board. So, you are going to watch TV. And what else? Any other plans? Mm. Play toys. Okay, so you are going to play. Okay, very good. Well, Hannah, do you know, of course you know that we use be going to, to talk about our future plans. And we can also use will. Yeah, for example, I will go to school tomorrow, right? Okay. But we have another structure that we can use to talk about future. Do you know what it is? Hmm. No. no? Okay. Present. Can they do us? Ooh. As in continuous for future. For example, you say. <laughs> watching. I, I, I learned present continuous already, but I uh, forget something very important about it. Of uh, let me let me say something. Of course, you learned about present continuous, but as you know, we use present continuous to talk about now, moment, just now. For example, I'm talking now. You are listening to me now, but you can also use it for future. I'm watching TV tonight. It means I will watch, but Hannah. What's the difference between will and be going to and present continuous or future plans? What's the difference? For example, I say, I will go to the movie with my friends this one is better and i'm going to go to the movie with my friends and i'm Going to the movie with my friends. When, for example, um, next week. Okay, 
So what's the difference between these three sentences? I will, I'm going to, or I'm going to go. So, do you know? You know? Okay, let me help you. Hannah, as I told you, we can use will and be going to an ing form of verb that is present continuous to talk about our future plans. But when we use will, it's like maybe 50%. We are not sure about it. When we say I'm going to go, be going to, it's about maybe 80%. But when I say I'm going to, this is present continuous. It's like, yeah, 98 maybe. So when I say, for example, I'm having dinner with my grandparents, it means everything is ready. I told my grandma and I invited them, so they're going to actually visit our home and we can have dinner together, okay? So I'm sure about it. So, well, maybe, just I, I, I thought about it, I decided to do it. Be going to, I decided and I planned, like, let's call my friends to go out. But when I say present continuous, I'm sure about it. I decided, I planned, and I organized everything. Everything is ready to go to the movie. Get it? Okay. Okay, now, I want you... I want you to use will, be going to, and present continuous to make sentences to talk about future. Okay. Oh, you're typing? Great. I go away. I'm going. I am going. I need to be. I'm going to. And I know what I uh, I write too fast. I forget it. Yeah, of course. So I'm going to my grandparents' house. For example, tomorrow. Okay. I want you to make time phrase because it's future. I'm going to, yeah, tomorrow, that's great. And well.
I will go to play with my cousin. Very good. I will go to play. It's okay. I'm going to go to the movie with my family. Excellent. Just, you know, you didn't use time expressions like tomorrow, next week, tonight. OK, so we need to use them. But that was really good. Excellent. Well, OK. Now, let's do something, Hannah. Okay. okay. Uh, yes, my dear. Do you want to say, okay, next week, next week, tomorrow. Excellent. Good job. Okay. Now, Hannah, look at Jenny's calendar and complete the sentences using the present continuous. Okay, let's complete. Number one, at 6 p.m. today, you know, just let me say something. As you can see, here we use present continuous. Why? Because we're sure about it. We have our plans, okay? We have our calendar and everything is planned or organized. So we are sure about it. So, number one. At 6 p.m. today, Jenny is making cookies for her family. Very good. Number two. Two. Lunch time go to athletics club. Where is where is she going at lunchtime tomorrow? Athletic clubs. Okay, so probably seven. She she going to she again 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 again. We need something she here. We go, she, go to athletic club. Okay, she is Hannah. Don't forget about B. We are important. M or E or R. She is going. She is going to athletic club. Very good. Yes. To athletic club and number three on Thursday after school. First after school, get Jim a present. Hmm. I mean, after school, get Jim a present, not flowers. Um, okay. Present continues. No, I, I read, I read. Oh, of course, of course, got it. Get Jim a present on Thursday after school. Mm. Mm. Get? No. First, no. first you need to begin your sentence with someone, with a person. She, he, I. So she. I'm, I'm going to get Jim a present. Okay. What is about Jenny? So she. Jenny. <laughs> she. She. Is she is going to get Jim a present. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so let me write. Okay, look. When we say she is going to, it's about 80%. But 
now, as you can see, she is sure about it because we can no check the calendar. So we say she and no is getting getting team up present on Thursday at school. Is getting Jim. A present. She is getting Jim. Okay, that's really important to. This one is better. That's really important to use B. That is M or E's or R, depending on the subject. Okay. Well, and now the um, next Friday one. evening. Friday, Friday, evening. Do my math homework on Friday evening. Doing my math homework no. on Friday evening. She going. She is. Is. Excellent. Uh, so look at your fingers. Look at your fingers. In present continuous, we have three words. Subject, I, A, I, U, she, he, V, U, they. After that, am or is or are, she is. And after that, I, N, G for, for, form of the word so that she's going. Yeah? Subject first and um, is. Um, is, um, is am or are for example i'm going she's going okay i am she is he is so it depends on the subject okay and and then uh subject m is uh and then uh and then uh subject so, and then, and, subject and then, E and ing form of verb subject B and ing form of verb. Okay. And then B. And then. And then what? Okay. Let me write. Present. Continuous. Oh, I'm topic here. Present continuous. That is subject B. That is M or E's or R and ING form of verb that is called gerund. Okay, this way. Now the next one. At the weekend, this second and Sunday. At the weekend, mm, I can choose Saturday or Sunday. Okay, because you know Sunday and Saturday, so you can use both of them. At Normally, it takes, yeah. At she is going. Be going she, to know. Be going to know. Go and know. She. Watching. She again, again. She is okay. Film. Film means record. Film means record. So this is a verb here. She is filming. Filming the widow. Filming the video of diary. Diary, like for example, I have my camera. I say, okay, guys, I'm having my breakfast. Now 
I'm going out so this this way I can film my day so I can show I can record every second. OK, well, in the last one and Wednesday. And Wednesday. Yes. Wednesday, Wednesday. Football on Wednesday. She is playing football. Excellent. OK, Hannah. Now let's do something. OK, I want to I want to guide you. So I explain something and you need to tell me whether I can use will be going to or present continuous. OK, OK, so I say, Hannah, I think uh, it's really good to travel in summer, so I think um, I want to travel to a country next summer. OK, should I say will be going to our present continuous? Will. Will, excellent, because I say I think. And the second one. Yeah, of course. And now, Hannah, my friend, my friend met a guy, a boy, and they want to they want to get married. OK, and you know, uh, everything is ready. So actually they decided to get married next summer. So they actually try to identify a wedding dress and you know place to hold the wedding. So be going to or will or present continuous. Going to excellent be going to because they decided and they planned, but you know, still we are not sure. And Hannah, I called my friends, and tonight they're coming, and we uh, we're gonna have dinner together. So tell me, be going to present continuous or will? Going to go. I called them, and they're coming. So we want to have we want to have dinner. So present continuous or be going to? Present continuous or be going to? Present continuous because you know I'm sure they're coming. They're coming, so I'm sure. Yeah, okay. Well, my dear, okay. Now let me ask you. OK, tell me. What are you doing? Um, after school tomorrow. Tomorrow I don't go to school. <laughs> OK, and just I won't. I won't go because this is tomorrow. So say I won't go to school tomorrow. OK. And, and tell me what are you doing on on for example Monday evening Monday evening you don't know of course you don't know I guess not tomorrow yeah okay so let me ask you what are you doing on Sunday at at 6 30 p.m. Mm. I it's wake up and I, I wake up and I go to church. PM, not AM. PM. Sunday P Sunday PM. Sunday afternoon. Evening. I learn English. Okay, so I'm learning English because of course we learn. Yeah, I'm learning English. Very good. Oh, we have a story. Are you the, ready to uh, listen? Uh, the 20,000 adventure. Pounds. Yeah, 20,000 pounds adventure. It's 20,000 pound adventure. Like dollar. Yeah, okay, so we're going to we're going to read because we don't know what's the story about. Are you ready? Okay, I want to play the audio. 
Just listen carefully, okay? But I want to read so I can remember. But look, okay, I want you to read, but look. Look, 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 look. <laughs> it's too long. No, I can't read it. I can't okay, read it. Okay, of course. You make me really happy. So, let's read it. Joshua is on board. He has flu and he has had a fever for several days. But today, he's feeling a bit better. His mom says he can go downstairs, lie down on the sofa and watch television with his sister, Cho. Chloe, Chloe. Chloe. Joshua and Chloe are watching a program about car codes. There's a knock on the door. It's their cousin, Eddie. Listen. Knock on the door. Okay, it's your cousin. Um, have you been ill? He asked for four days, says Joshua. I haven't been to school since last Monday. Lucky you, says Eddie. The crocodile's program has finished. The finished. local finished. finished. The local news program is starting. There was a robbery at Wigan Bank last night. Unfortunately, thieves stole about twenty thousand pounds in cash and escaped in a fast car. The news reader says. The thieves are dangerous criminals. I know that bank. Chloe says excited, excitedly. Excitedly, excitedly. It's on the high street. Joshua feeling sleepy. His eyes are closing. Come on, Joshua says Eddie, let's climb some trees. Outside in the garden, Chloe's climbing a tree and the two boys quickly climb up to join her. Look at those men, says Chloe, pain pointing at two men kneeling on the ground by the river. What are they doing? Shh, whisper. Joshua, they, they hear you and they look dangerous. But look, says Eddie, feeling worried. What are they doing? One of the one of the men is talking a huge pile of papers from a brown bag. Is the 20,000 pounds, whispered Chloe. You know the money from the bank on the high street. Look, they're hiding in the hole. Yes, and the new streeter said they're dangerous criminals, whispered Joshua. The two men looked up as if they heard something. The children freeze. They are terrified. The three children watch in complete silence while the man finish hiding the cash and walk away from the wood. Let's get it, says Chloe, climbing down the tree fast. Come on, Joshua, shouts Eddie. What are you waiting for? They might come back, but Joshua isn't feeling well. He thinks he might have a fever again. As he climbed down the tree, he cut his knees and cried out in pain. Chloe and Eddie get the bag. They make so much noise that Joshua starts to feel nervous. 
They don't see the man coming back. Suddenly, the men are standing right behind them, and they look furious. Hey, drop that! They shout. Run! Shouts Eddie. Eddie and Chloe grab the money and run to the bridge as fast as they can. They cross over the river, but Joshua can't run to the bridge. His knees bleeding. It's too painful to run. Hurry up, Joshua! They're going to catch you! Shouts Eddie from the other side of the ward of the river. Joshua decides to swim to the other side. He's just going to jump into the water to cross the river when he sees crocodiles. He's very frightened now. Oh no, crocodiles! How strange! Thinks Joshua for a moment. Crocodiles live in Africa, not here. Joshua jack with the feet behind him and crocodiles in front of him. Oh no, he can't run to the bridge. He can't swim across the river. What can he do? Then he sees a rope hanging from a tree. Can he swing across? Joshua, wake up! You're shouting in your sleep. <laughs> Something about crocodiles. Are you feeling okay? Asked his mother, coming into the room. Oh, mom, yes, I'm feeling much better now. Says Joshua, come on, come on. Switch off the television. It's time to eat. Says his mom. Oh, it was a dream. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, now I understand why he wearing pajamas. <laughs> of course. Well, so robbery. Robbery means stealing something, especially money from somewhere. For example, stealing money from the bank is robbery. And the person who does this is robber, like a thief. Thieves stole about 20,000 pounds and ran away, escaped, ran away. And they are dangerous criminals. Criminal henna is a person like a thief who does a very bad thing like stealing something or hurting people or damaging somewhere, destroying what something. Is, yeah. Damaging. Destroy, hurt. For example, some people, I don't know, if someone steals a thief, steals someone, someone else's actually car, this is actually, this person is criminal. Criminal is a person who does, who commits a crime, a very bad thing. Okay, so they need to go to the jail sometimes. So, criminal. A thief is criminal. I heard my dad said uh, when he, when uh, he and my, when my dad and my mom was young, they go to eat something and uh, someone suddenly ran to my dad and then take, take a ten, ten with them. Take what? I think money from my dad and oh. he ran away. Oh, and he ran away. So he was a thief, you know? Okay, so let me teach you some no. words. Okay, what? What he just, um, what he just, um, take my, take a very, very small money. Small money, ah, a little, yeah, of course, but still, you know, he was a thief. But you know, that's actually, we have different words that in the future you will learn. So for example, a person who steals something from a shop, 
a shoplifter or for example a person uh, who steal something money from someone's bag or pocket is pickpocketers like that we call pickpocketing and the person is actually yeah you know so actually it was happen like if your mom and your dad didn't understand when the thief stole something, stole money, we say it was pickpocketing, just, you know, like secretly, shh, we're going to take something, okay? Yeah. So, yeah, of course. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes some people actually hit another people like violently, okay, and take their money. That is different, okay? So we say it's mugging. So for example, someone, okay, like push someone else, hit them and take money. So we say it's mugging, mugging, okay? So, pick. Pocketing means stealing money from someone's someone's okay. bag or pocket, of course. And mocking means hitting someone to take money. Yeah, yeah of course, like this. This is mocking. And the person who does this is a mugger. Mugger. Yeah, of course. Okay. Well. And now, and all of them are crimes. They, these people are criminals. Criminals. Okay, and this one, one of the men is taking a huge, very big pile of papers like this. Like, like pile of papers? Look like this pile, like this. A lot of papers like this okay it's a pile on the top of each other like this pile okay when you put lots of it was actually it was not paper it, they were money cash yeah but you know first of all they thought that they were money actually papers but they were not papers they were cash a lot of a pile of cash okay like this look this one a pile of papers actually that were cash real money okay furious furious means scared very no very angry furious they look furious like you know very angry frightened means frightened means scared okay and trapped Joshua's trapped with the thieves behind him and cro crocodiles. Trap means when you feel like you are, I don't know, you are not happy, you are scared. Okay, like you know, you can't run away, like you can. Here, crocodile, behind you, thieves. So I can't go anywhere, I'm trapped. Okay. Here is the crocodile, and uh, behind is the a thief and he's he's standing here of course of course so this he is can come away he yeah can jump. of course of course well and now so let me show you something okay just hannah did you get the meaning of pile look let me show you something let me show you something yeah, for example, I have a lot of leaves and I put them like this, this one and this one. There are lots of leaves and I put them this way, this way. They're all leaves. OK, and I make a pile. Can you see? So Just this is a pile. Back. Yeah. Actually, we say lots of things lying one upon the other like this one this one this one this one yeah of course of course for example when you put 
books, lots of many books. OK, one open the other like this one, this one, this one, this one. You make a pile. Get it? Of okay. course, that's it. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. Get it? Like this. Yeah, of course, of course. Well, so for example, we say, okay, let me type it on the board so that you know the meaning of it. So we say, lot of things, okay, laid one open the other like this like this one and this one and this one and this one and this one okay this is pile well let's answer the first question okay so which real life fact were in joshua's dream which fact real life fact Joshua dreamed that the two, the two thieves, uh, the two thieves, and had a crocodile. In yeah, of dream. course. Yeah, yeah, but you know, actually, a part of real life was in his dream, and it was fever. In his dream, he had fever. You know, just, you know, exactly the same that he was awake. So he had fever in dream. OK, and number two, what do you think of Chloe and Eddie's actions in the story? What would you have done if you were Chloe? If I Chloe, I would say to Eddie, uh, sorry, shall we? <laughs> Shall we? Oh, sorry. Please let me go. <laughs> I would so if I were Chloe, I would say, please let me go. Yeah. Sorry, Joshua. If 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 um, if you die and you were you just like you born again, you you just like someone born. You born in uh, in this this uh well again yeah. I will help you I'm sure. <laughs> oh, so if you if you die now and again you will <laughs> I'm good you will be burned. Of course we will help you. Yeah. Okay. And the last one. How do you think Joshua feels when he sees the crocodile? So hmm. how he feels. He feels scary. Of scary, no scared. scared. He feels scared, of <laughs> course. Frightened, frightened or frightened or scared. Yeah. OK, my dear. So we need to skip this part because you don't have any time to talk about it more. But next session. We will talk about Joshua maybe again. OK, my dear, do you have any questions? Are there any words that you didn't you didn't get the meaning and you want to ask me in the story? No, I know, I know it. OK, very good. So, Hannah, I want you to write the story of your moms and dads story about the thief, you know, and send it to me, OK? OK. Goodbye, my dear. It's time to go. Yeah. Bye. Bye bye.